Hey guys, it's Maddie from Crafty Lore, and I have a different type of video that I'll be doing thanks to the lovely Sue Cook from Paper Inspirations because she tagged me in the 10 crafty questions that's been floating about in the crafting community. Um, so it's going to be a bit awkward because I'm a private person and I'm not used to giving out too much information. <laughs> So I'm going to do my best to answer these questions, um, do some of my um, uh, craft for my uh, secret forest journal that I'm doing for Tina's design team uh, for Shabby Dabby Doodle. And so, yeah, so I'm like, I don't know how to begin <laughs> because I'm not used to, um, <laughs> see, I'm giggling because I'm, I'm quite nervous, so as you all probably know. So I'm going to try to pretend that the camera's not on and I'm just going about my normal off day from work, working on my project. Um, <laughs> well, what do I start off with what I'm making right now? Um, so I'm creating this secret forest journal for Tina's uh, design team project. And this is going to be, I'm, I'm considering about putting this in either on one of the end pages or in one of the um or in one of the signatures i'm not quite certain yet it is quite um it's not very bulky on um, me stand up so I, yeah i'm on i'm in frame um it's not very bulky so this sh i might just put this um on the one of the end pages i think we'll see but basically it's a type of trifold um that opens out like this and then it opens out like that and then this will open out like that um you don't see but i have some ghost pockets here that i'll be inserting um some of uh, tina's ephemera into so there's like three of these there so that's what that's for i'll probably do like a collage of sorts on this page because i don't really like to leave anything blank but yeah, that's what I'm working on at the moment. And it was funny because I was actually in bed um, this morning and I saw that uh, Sue from her channel um, was answering the 10 crafty questions. So I, was, I eagerly <laughs> went to her channel because <laughs> I want to know more about her. And um, <laughs> to my um, surprise, um, um, I won't say terror, um, she had tagged me and so here I am making a very awkward video <laughs> about uh, the 10 crafty questions as I try to embellish this. Um, this part here is just um, a quote from uh, John Muir and it's made famous actually uh, uh, by Jibid, Jibid Neri on her channel. She made this quote pretty famous um, in the crafty community. Um, so I decided to use it there and so yeah so why not, I'm just going to tell you guys what I plan to do with this piece and then as I work on it um, then I will answer the, the uh, questions so um, so first and foremost I wanted to create something that would um, keep this page closed this flap from opening and I don't know if you guys can see that. I actually liked how this looked, like the sentence peeks out from this um, from this open slit here. So I, I kept it like that. It's not something I normally would do. And um, I'm actually running out of magnets. Um, I don't have so many and I need to put an order in. So I was trying to think of a way I can keep this closed without using magnets until I can get more magnets in. And so I created, um, this little, I don't know, I guess you could call this like a specimen tab type thing. And basically has like these, this little flange here. Flange, I think it's called, I don't know what you call these, but these flaps. This is what I'm going to put in between these. Let me see if I can make this go zoom in. There you go, I'm using my phone today. Um, I'm gonna put it in between these two, these two flaps here. So that should keep it closed. And so, yeah, so this piece around is um, from Tina's uh, kit from her bee's knees. Um, did I use anything else? 
This is from Tina's kit from her Nostalgia collection. Um, I just did the coloring different. Um, I think hers was more of a, I want to say like a brownish color. And I probably could have kept it that, that color. No, it was more, it was like a pinkish brown color. And I didn't want any of the pink to come through. So I, I wanted the green. So I just played around with the coloring to get the color that I wanted. This is also from Tina's kit. Um, this is from her bee's knees. I think it's called, or Knees Bees. <laughs> um, also from her Fabulous Fall Kit. This is just from the some of the forest book that I use because as you can see, there's, there's fern here and moss there. And if I decide to keep this as a floating trifold, then you'll see the moss here. I'm not quite certain yet. I might just glue this down to the end page. I think that's what I might actually end up doing. So yeah, so... Um, so I'm gonna put this there and then this will go in between. So let me sit back down. Let me, I guess I'll keep it zoom in. And so, okay, what is my name? <laughs> That's the first question. Um, so everybody in the crafting community that knows my channel will know me as Maddie Osei. Osei is my um, married name my husband he is um, half japanese half chinese i am not <laughs> but um maddie is actually a nickname that i use because um as um i don't i probably mentioned in some of my videos that i am a registered nurse and i um at the hospital that i work at um I spoke to one of our HR representatives and he had told me that um, that I, pr I shouldn't use my real name just in case I do mention um, anybody, any of the patients um, in my videos. And, and I know sometimes that I might say something in regards to patient care or something that might have happened um, at the hospital during one of my crafting videos. So in order to keep my patients safe um, and protect their privacy, I have to use an alternate name. So I can't give away my first name, unfortunately, because I really do love my first name. <laughs> um, so I just use my nickname, Maddie, uh, short for Madeline. Um, I was in love with the um, books from like the 1930s, um, Madeline. And so I've always loved that name and I, I used to always wish that my mom had named me that because <laughs> I wanted to be that character. And so if I ever have a daughter, if God blesses me with a daughter, I'm going to name her Madeline, Madeline, Maddie. So I love that name. I love that name to pieces. So that's why I chose Maddie for my um, crafty channel. And um, the icon that you see on my... Um, Oh, I don't even, I don't even remember putting this on. I just got distracted talking about my name. So, um, let me stand back up so I can show you guys. So you could slide this, this can slide on and off like that. That's how I created it. So you could do that. This will keep this nice and closed, but I find it easier if you just like open it like that. So yeah, and then it just can come off like that. So I find it much easier that way. Um, it just depends on whoever gets this journal. Um, I will say this about this journal that I'm doing. Um, I did promise somebody that I would let them know if I ever make like a nature theme type journal. And um, she has shown some interest in this. If she decides not to purchase this, I will probably do this as a giveaway. Um, regardless of whether or not she, if she gets this journal, um, I will, I'm, my next journal will be a giveaway for sure, because I, I've been meaning to do one since I've passed a hundred mark and <laughs> then my life has been pretty hectic. So, um, yeah, so, so it's either going to be this journal that I'm making or the next one. So one of these will be a giveaway journal, but um, I did promise her, so she has a choice to purchase this or not. Um, now, where was I? So I was on, oh yeah, so the icon to my, um, to my channel um, is a illustration from John Bauer. It's one of, he's one of my favorite illustrators. 
and um, I think that particular one that I use is um, um, from the illustrations of the trolls and gnomes or the gnomes and trolls or something like that and it's I just love those type of whimsical illustrations there's always you know begging to me to create something or make something so there's always grab my fancy so I, I that's why I chose that icon it just it just it's me if that makes any sense um so how did you choose your youtube name oh so i guess i was sort of answering that question um with my icon on my youtube channel um my name is you know crafty lore so lore is for story some people think that that's my name <laughs> and i can see why people would think that but it's not um i chose lore because of the the storytelling, the stories. Um, I like to, a lot of my work is very detailed because I want to create like little stories within a story, if that makes any sense. And so <laughs> that's why I chose lore. I also did um, a lot of uh, writing back when I was much younger um, and some poetry. So I um, always loved that word lore. Just, it can mean so many things, but it always involves storytelling. And then crafty for, you know, obvious reasons for, you know, crafting pieces, cr crafting things to my imagination. So that's why I chose crafty lore. So lore is not my name. Um, so, yeah. Um, what is your favorite craft? Um, oh, let me see. Favorite craft. As of right now, it's definitely junk journaling. Um, but before any of that, I would say um, probably writing. I used to write a lot. Um, I don't write as much now because of because junk journaling has taken up my time when I'm not at work. <laughs> so um, yeah, so it's definitely writing poetry. Um, my childhood was kind of strict, so. Um, one way to escape that was I would definitely write things. What whatever was in my head, I would write things out. I would invent these stories um, to my brothers. I have um, three brothers and three sisters. I'm the eldest, so yeah. So I would tell them stories. I remember um, I would also draw um, some uh, comic strip illustrations because we didn't have any comic books. <laughs> But I wanted to make one, I guess, for my brothers. So I think I did like um, an X Men version. I used to. I don't know if you guys know what X Men, what what that is, but it was something that my brothers really, really liked. And so I would develop these storylines, and I I would draw out the characters, um, Wolverine and um, Rogue. I think her name was Rogue. Was it Rogue or Rouge? Rogue. I think it was Rogue. <laughs> but yeah, those were my two favorite characters. And so I would draw those out and make these comic strips out for my brother. I say, I'm talking. I'm not even crafting. That's funny. And I was so nervous to do this. And here I am talking away. So um, yeah, so I guess my favorite crafts, my favorite craft would be junk journals at the moment because it just, I just, I want to create, it's a way of me creating like the stories that are in my head and putting them out on the page and so I want to like spark the fancy the imagination of somebody who gets something that I make um yeah so that's basically it I think about that and then I don't know if this is in order but the next question is what is your favorite craft style um, not quite certain what that means entirely. Uh, if you mean like a theme, I suppose it would be anything like whimsical, definitely nature theme. I love the nature themes. Um, I love the curious themes, like themes that are not commonly like um, seen or commonly looked into or explored. That's, I guess that's not entirely true because, you know, well, like obviously like fairies every most almost everybody does the fairy thing right but i like the whimsical type creatures the the things that are not so um how do you say happy i guess i don't mean happy like everything should be sad type of uh thing but i like the the whimsy part of it but also the dark 
parts of it too because you need both the bad and the good to in order to appreciate the good you need the bad and to appreciate the light you need the dark so i i like that type of contrast and i i, I want my journals to I like to try to incorporate that into my journals. I want, I want them to reflect those type of themes, you know, because you appreciate life much more that way. Yeah. It's funny because my husband, um, I, I know he won't watch this video. <laughs> uh, my husband, he's had a, he's an only child, very spoiled. And, um, and to me, I grew up very poor, strict upbringing. Um, so, um, yeah, so he doesn't really know things like, you know, like being hungry or anything like that. Like, you know, things like when you have large families and, um, you only have one working parent and it's just, it, life is tough, you know? And so, yeah, so it's, um, why did I mention this? <laughs> I don't, I totally lost my train of thought. There was a purpose of saying that. Um, oh yeah. So so it's harder for him to appreciate the good things when they do happen in life like the little the blessings that we have like we finally bought a house um well technically not a house house it's more like a town home it's a petite house but it's i'm definitely grateful that i have it. it's my very first home you know <laughs> considering you know how i grew up and so yeah, so it's hard, it's hard for him to appreciate the little things that like, you know, having a roof over our heads, having um, food, stuff like that. that. That type of thing is like harder for him to appreciate because he's never really known what it's like to, to, to have like a very difficult life. And I'm not saying he doesn't have a difficult life, but like, I think like it, in order to balance, you need to have... Um, in order to appreciate the, the the happier things, you need to know some of the sadder things, I think. And I hope this makes sense. I don't know. I didn't mean for it to get so deep, but yeah. <laughs> Where am I going? And where's my coffee? Um, let me get my coffee really quickly. <laughs> um, so what's the next question before I start blabbering on about things that are not making any sense? Um, so yeah, I, I guess to answer that craft style question, it would be like the the whimsy, uh, botanical nature type things, and of course anything vintage, you know. Um, favorite place to shop for supplies? Um, definitely antique shops, thrift stores. I keep meaning to go to like the flea market, and I've never. I'm usually always working around the times when they are open, so I just stick to the, the antique shops and the thrift stores. Um, for like a mainstream type of store, definitely Hobby Lobby over Michael's. I'm sorry, Michael. Um, you just don't do it for me, Michael. I'm just you and I don't have a very good relationship. But Hobby Lobby is one of my favorite like mainstream stores to like you know to go to. And then uh, definitely Etsy, I love supporting our fellow crafters, um, whether it be journals that I have bought. I've bought, bought is bought in a word? <laughs> I've bought um, several journals, if not more, from crafters. And yeah, so, and, and definitely supplies. Um, and then once in a while, I might rummage about in eBay. Um, I've noticed that some of the prices there are quite, outrageous it's like mm, why <laughs> like for some laces like some beautiful like lit trims and laces they charge like an, an outrageous price for that so yeah I don't really do eBay as much like when I first started this whole thing but definitely Etsy Etsy is probably one of my favorite online ones to go to um the before I answer the fifth question um let me okay so let me stand up so I can see. Okay. <laughs> um, so the reason why I created this piece here is because I wanted something that would keep this piece, uh, this flap closed, you know. So I was attending to put it like here. And I don't know why it took me so long to make this random little piece. 
um, I was trying to think of, of a way to like make this easier because there's a way you can do this with just paper. You don't actually need the, um, the brad or the eyelet. I probably didn't even need the eyelet. I probably could have just gone with the brad. Why did I put the eyelet there? I don't. Oh yeah, because because if you don't push, the, I so I originally used so basically. Okay, let me explain this mechanism. <laughs> Uh, so it's basically two parts no three parts forgive me um there's three parts to this and there's a tiny little um circle here that's all cut very funny and I won't, I won't explain why that's cut funny i'm just yeah it was a headache and then these two other circles there right so there's three of these things and then so if i technically you only need two if i if you just use the eyelids if you don't put um, press too hard, um, like with your big bite or whatever you, you whatever eyelet setter that you have, you're then you're able to turn these. The problem is is that I accidentally pressed too hard, so I wasn't able to turn it very easily, and so I didn't want to tear the paper. So uh, that's why I ended up putting the brad. So I probably could have just gone with the brad instead. <laughs> I, I don't know why I made it so much more complicated than it had to be. And so it was sticking out, this piece was sticking out a bit too much. So I, instead of, I, sh I just glossy accent it so that way I can get like this little um, lip here, this little ridge that, um, that goes over this piece here. And so that's why I can have this turn like that. Um, if you just did this with paper without any of the metal parts, you have to be precise in your cutting otherwise it it's it just doesn't work very well so or maybe i'm just i don't know maybe i was having a very bad crafting day and so <laughs> i decided you know to make more work for myself than than was necessary so what i'm going to do is i'm going to glossy accent this down uh, so and then these leaves this metal embellishment these leaves here will hold that piece close and so yeah that's what that's what i was going to do um this piece here is from tina's kit um the the little butterfly from i think it's from her fabulous fall um collection and it's just a magnet i have that closing this piece over here and then you have an eth holden page there i think i'll just leave this bare because i the illust her illustrations are just gorgeous and I don't really want to cover this up so yeah that's basically what I'm going to do there so oh my goodness <laughs> uh top five crafters um it depends like are you talking about when I first started or I don't because I don't really I, I like everybody that I watch um I when I first started the Top five, I suppose, um, would have been Jarf from Med Medieval Mirage. And the reason for that is because um, I was making, I wanted to make, it was like two years ago, I wanted to make a journal for um, a very dear friend of mine who's, like, who's basically like a sister to me. And um, I had found her on Etsy and, and so I got into contacts with her and asked her about making something like um, a Moroccan theme or something uh, because my uh, Tatev she went to uh, Morocco and so I wanted to, I wanted a digital kit that you know would suit the journal that I wanted to make for her so she created the uh, beautiful um, bizarre boho um, kit so yeah so uh, thank you so much Jarf but yeah definitely Jarf um, I like, of course, Tina from Shabby Dabby Duda, who introduced me to the lovely Sue Cook, Paper Inspirations, um, Jibid, obviously, um, because of the whole, the nature theme and her style, it just, it just speaks to me on so many levels. Um, Andrea from Artie Maze, I love her style too. And um, Tracy Fox, those were probably the first um, five uh, or six, I guess I went over <laughs> that I, when I first started that I was watching. And then um, for what I'm watching right now, currently as I craft, definitely I watch Tina, definitely watch Sue. I watch, and then I also watch, I don't know if you guys know her, um, Irina from Meditative and Scrapbooking. 
Um, I love her work. Um, her stuff speaks to me too. <clears throat> and then lately I've been watching <clears throat> Pam at the Paper Outpost. Um, I'm new to her, or she's new to me actually, I'm not new to her. She's new to me. <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't remember how I found her, but oh my gosh, she cracks me up. So I've been um, binging on her videos. Um, yeah, so those were probably um, some of the crafters I follow. Um, and then also uh, Kim at Serene Bookworks, she makes me laugh like there's no tomorrow. I just love her. She recently did a journal that I am in absolute love. I mean, that I'm, if you, you guys, if you don't know who Kim is, um, go to Serene Bookworks. I just, I just love her work. I love her personality. Um, yeah, so where's my glossy accents? Um, and then uh, who else? Um, the next question, favorite colors? Um, well, definitely, definitely greens. I love my greens. Um, purple used to be my ultimate favorite color. Um, not so much now <laughs> because of, um, I don't really get to use purple as much anymore. So I don't know. Um, definitely the greens are my favorite colors. Um, this is not coming out. Where is my... Um, So, um, number eight, or did I miss one? Seven, uh, favorite tools. <laughs> uh, my favorite tools would be my imagination and, um, people. Um, yeah, just, I have this weird imagination. Like sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll have this idea of, uh, <laughs> of what I want or something I want to do in a journal and then I'll grab my commonplace journal and write it out really quickly and then I'll go back to bed so I have like these random like am I off camera oh, I don't know if I'm off camera I'm sorry um I have like these random like ideas sometimes and then if I don't jot them down uh, I won't remember it I'll forget until something um brings it up again so yeah, so definitely my imagination. And then when I say people, I mean like, you know, from the crafting community, just uh, their craft, it sparks m my imagination. It just fires me up and <clears throat> it makes me want to create and do things I've probably never done before. So yeah, those are probably my favorite tools. But as for like tangible things, definitely, um, Pencil, pens, I love my pens. Um, let me pop this, oh, actually I should put this there. Hang on, sorry, I can't talk and do this at the same time because I'm really afraid I'm going to get glue everywhere and I want to get this right because I don't really want to redo this. It's a lot of, <laughs> it takes so much work. Oh, let me just move it over a little bit. That should be good. Yeah, that should be good, okay. Um, I need something to press on it. Maybe my coffee mug. No. <laughs> um, hold on. Let me see. I know. It's, people like Mod Pouch <laughs> as their favorite tool. I don't know. Um, let me put this on there. Okay. So, yeah, definitely my my pens, my scissors. Um, my favorite glue, I would have to say, believe it or not, would be um, Fabric Tac. And the reason why it says is because it doesn't um, cause the paper to wrinkle as much because it's alcohol based, you know, whereas, you know, your water based glues, you'll get some um, warping effect. And yeah, so a lot of the time you'll see me in my videos use my um, fabric tack and I put it in this little bottle here because I like the fine tip needle and then I'll put it in something like right now I have it in ribbon. <laughs> upside down so that way it's always ready so yeah i know um uh what else so those are probably oh and then my scissors i have loads of scissors like how can you do any of your paper crafting if you can't cut so i don't know how i'm going to show this let me have to move the mod podge i suppose but ta-da i have all of these scissors of different types of um uh, edge edges like edge cutters i suppose they're called so I love my little edge cutters, so yeah, so my scissors too. 
And then um, the next question is, where did you get your love of crafting? Um, that would be my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably from all of the storytelling as I did that I did as a child um, to keep my brothers entertained um, yeah so that's probably where I got my love of crafting um, and then nine when did I start crafting oh I if you mean like um, the junk journal thing I started the junk journaling probably about three years ago, but I didn't start my YouTube channel into January of this year. Um, and my best friend Joshua, he convinced me to start the channel. <laughs> so yeah, um, so I finally made a channel. But um, yeah, I did, I've been doing the junk journal crafting for about three years and it was mostly for like friends and, and coworkers the word of mouth basically I just and for myself um, and then I decided to take the leap and go live I suppose and so yeah that's when I started it um, I think that's it I'm supposed to like tag I think two people um, so I don't believe they've been tagged yet but I would like to tag is this on? No. But let me see if it works. Yay! <laughs> it works. So you guys see? Let me see if I'm in frame. Am I recording? Yes, I'm recording. Okay. Yeah. So, yay, it works. I'm so happy. It just took me uh, nearly half a day to do this. <laughs> um, let me see if it closes. Yay. And then I'll put this in. Like that. And like that. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. I like it. I can't wait. Um, so the people that I would um, tag uh, for the 10 crafty questions would be Jar from Medieval Mirage. I would really love to hear um, how she started, how she chose her name, because I know Jar is probably not her real name. Um, and then... I would pick um, also Irina from Meditative uh, Scrapbooking and I will um, link their channels down below um, if you don't know who they are. I'm pretty certain most people know who Jarf is and um, hopefully you guys know who Irina is but I'll definitely post, her, post our links down below in the description. So I guess before I go I'll just show some of the stuff I created for the book so that way you guys know I have been create crafting. <laughs> It's not always about work, work, work. But yeah, this is a embellish um, tea bag. Um, I got these tea bags from, I think, Amazon. Uh, let me stand up so I can see. Let me zoom out. There you go. Sorry about that. Uh, tea buddies, yeah. And what's this? Oh, this is Sue. Sue gave that to me. <laughs> I saved a little envelope. But yeah, see, there's some really cute little bags. So that's what I'm using and that's what I embellished on. Let me show you. So there's one of my negative um, uh, Tim Holt uh, cutouts. Um, some of this like, this trim. I don't know what you call this trim. It's not moss, or it could be moss. I'm not quite certain what type of moss this is. But yeah, it's like this huge like flop, so I just cut little pieces of it. And this is just some paper scraps from from cutting up things and um, Tina's uh, butterfly and some more trim and some uh, threads throughout. So yeah, and then I put like the um, acetate window there so that way you can see what you put in the t little tea bag. So yeah. I was going to make a few more of these, probably. And then I have some little paper scraps. I put paper scraps in all my journals. So, yeah, I have some mulberry paper, some actually very good quality paper here. This uh, of like sunflowers and plants and stuff. <clears throat> some um, tracing paper, the Pete's coffee bag paper, which I love. And some of the journaling, um, the forest journaling paper, uh, forest paper, 
that I cut up. So, yeah, see? It's just these colors. I just love these colors so much. All of these fall colors. So pretty. There you go. I'm going to have to trim some of these threads. They're a bit long. Yeah, so I always make them. So I have um, four for each of the signatures. Um, so just some of the tags um, that I'm going to uh, be cutting out. I have a lot more fussy cutting to do, and then I need to um, embellish those, and then some of the ephemera pieces that will go in there. And then this one is um, from Tina's kit. Um, I think from her bee's knees, I believe. I don't remember where I got these, but they're both from Tina's kit. Have a little plant there in the window. Um, this is some paper, or not paper, cloth that I use for the cover of my um, for Secret Forest Journal. And then I, how do you say, just it over it so you can write on this. And then I need to do a little bit more embellishing on Tina's little tag there. And then this is from the Forest Journal. This is, These are actual um, plant cells, um, microscopic plant cells there. So, yeah, so um, that's basically... Um, it. Um, thank you guys for tolerating my very long, awkward video. And thank you, Sue, for um, <laughs> choosing me to tag. I, I really do love you and I feel I can ship with you. Um, so um, just thank you for making my days. And I hope to see you all soon. Bye.